When you think of the best places to order fish, you probably think of the coast, right? Yet we have some incredible restaurants here in the metro that serve delicious dishes that incorporate fish in Kansas City. Christine is live at one of those restaurants right now. She's live at Corvino Supper Club and Tasting Room. Christine, you have some really good information when it comes to fish for all of us. <laughs> I certainly do, yeah. So we're gonna talk fish, but yeah, we're channeling the beaches, even though we're not out there, but still we get some good fish here. Chef Michael Corvino still with us. Okay, you're cutting up a mango because we're actually gonna make a sauce, right? Would you call it a sauce? Yeah, so it's kind of like a vinaigrette. Okay, so we're vinaigrette. Gonna, we're gonna cook this mango. We've got a little pot here. Uh -huh. We're gonna cook it with uh, a little rice wine vinegar. Uh -huh. Yuzu, it's a Japanese citrus. It's kind of like um, really aromatic lime. Uh -huh. um, and then we finish it with a little olive oil. So we'll puree it, cook it, puree it, finish with the olive oil. So it's like a vinaigrette. And this is all for a dish that you guys are serving yeah. during restaurant week. I'm not fancy enough to be able to say it. How do you say it? Hamachi. Hamachi. So hamachi is, or yellowtail, you see in the sushi restaurants a uh -huh. lot. Yeah. Um, and we we cube it like uh, like you get a poke salad yeah. right? in a yeah. poke bowl. Yeah. And we dress it with the mango vinaigrette so it's sweet, it's acidic, it's, it's a little earthy from the olive oil. When people think Midwest and fish, sometimes those don't go along, but you guys make sure you get the good stuff. So how do Absolutely. you do that and how can I do that at home? We fly fish in um, all week long. Okay. So we'll, we'll fly it in from the coast or we'll fly it in from a big, a big hub in Chicago because they're selling so much fish, they're flying yeah. it in every day. Anything you should look for when you're out shopping at the store, anything to stay away from? I would say good. No, just go, just go to good places. Go to places like Broadway Butcher that's quality oriented and gets in really fresh, really high quality fish. Okay. We have the mango, which you're very good at chopping up because mangoes can be difficult. We're going to add yeah, this stuff to it. Do you eyeball it at this point or do you have to measure? Uh, this one we just kind of eye because we'll, we'll, we'll cook it with a little bit of vinegar. Okay. We what can does always, the vinegar do? Um, it gives it acid, oh, the okay. acidity, so it makes it kind of pop. And same with the, the use is aromatic, but it's also acidic as well. Ooh. So we can always uh, add a little bit more when we're pureeing it if it needs more acid. So then we just put it on the heat. It takes, I don't know, five, five to 10 minutes, cooked it until it's soft. Then we're gonna puree it. We're gonna add some sea salt. Ooh, which I like. And we're gonna add this nice grassy olive oil. And it turns out to be this amazing concoction yeah. here. I wanna mention the dish that we're making is on the menu, but a lot of the dishes you have all the time are going to be on this restaurant week menu so people are really getting an idea of what you're serving yeah we're serving our menu we probably you know we, it's probably about 90 percent of our regular menu and um it really shows off the experience and what we do every day and that was intentional you wanted people to know what you're serving absolutely how exciting okay so we did a little prep work here but i get to try something new coming up which is so exciting so we're going to take some of these ingredients mixed up and show you the final product coming up but in the meantime <laughs> Oh, we're going to go.